What's up weirdo, Shea Tree Surgeon here, and we're starting the vlog not from some seedy den of iniquity, some biker bar populated by scabby vixens and nefarious characters. We're doing it from the wholesome comfort of our own home. Big bad biker sitting around a beautiful rustic table. Uh, anyway, we're still gonna go do nasty biker stuff, but we are starting inside. We got uh, my girl Liren here, Madam Hexa, you know her. Of course Shelby, everybody knows him. And for the only the second time on camera, we have Dave and Cindy, who you guys will remember run the Forgotten Angels. Uh, so I always wanna call it the compound. <laughs> the connotations of the Forgotten Angels compound. <laughs> well, I think it sounds cool. We'll still call it the compound. Anyway, that's what they run, you guys remember. We're actually going to see Jared Weems. We got dogs angry. It's okay. He can bark. <laughs> oh, of course, Shay. Dude, those glasses are dope. Okay. So, me and Shay Lisi, we're rolling out with these guys. We're going to go see Jared Weems. He's got his bike in a show. We want to go show him some support. And uh, then we got some cool stuff to do with the Forgotten Angels compound. <laughs> and and we'll find something nasty and seedy and scabby to get into along the way instead of this nice wholesome table. I'm sorry, dude. I just we just moved in here. This is our this is our this is the new house. I'm excited to be here. All right, let's get on the road. All right, what's going to happen now is after all this, we're going to get 5 miles in and the FXR is going to break down. I love these Connies. A man of true class and distinction, the Concourse 14. Dude, let me tell you, dudes who love their Connies, that's actually what me and David kind of bonded with about motorcycles in the beginning is when I met him, he was on an Electroglide. He loves Harleys, he loves his Kawasaki, he loves everything with two wheels. <laughs> Don't ever let being the last one ready prevent you from talking shit. That's a lesson for everybody. Woo! <laughs> oh, leering on that heritage, man. That is such a... Dude, I don't know, man. I love my Evo, but sometimes I still think that a twin cam Harley Davidson is my favorite sounding engine. <laughs> oh, oh, man. David, don't mess around. <laughs> Dude, talk about a hard ass. I didn't even expect him to do that. It's my first time riding with David. Pulls out on the concourse is like, uh, nah, we going, buddy. I've only known David for a few months, but I'm liking him more and more already. Of course, what's not to love about David and Cindy? They love dudes like running up on the sidewalk. I'm like, chill out, man. As I was saying, what's not to love about David and Cindy? They run an absolutely amazing charity, uh, Ben, the forgotten angels benefiting kids who've aged out of the foster care program. More on that later. Uh, they love riding motorcycles. They're good people. They're kind. They tip well at the bar. It's not that, uh, I have to like David. I think it's more the other way around is, uh, is David and Cindy going to like me because I'm kind of a piece of shit. Okay, got the crew with us. Shay Lisi, of course, on the Suzuki Savage because her Harley Sportster is busy clocking airtime, following in the very dubious footsteps of its papa, the FXR. Of course, Shay Lisi will be filming her own vlog today as well. Make sure you go subscribe to her. That's my niece. Her channel's grown super fast, and I expect it to be bigger than mine soon. And we got Shelby back there on the Burt Harley Davidson Road King Kong. He's got a Suzuki Marauder, and I know uh, you got some Marauder fans there in the audience, but when it comes to highway stuff, he'd rather be on the Road King. After that, we got Madam Hexa, our resident professional dominatrix, and the owner of a podcast called Trouble Comes in Threes. I'm not gonna tell you what the podcast is about, I'll let you figure that out for yourself, but I actually help her out. I edit that podcast for her. Uh, it's a great listen. Go throw them a subscribe on YouTube. I'll have it linked down below. And finally, rounding out the pack, the very wholesome Dave and Cindy, <laughs> owners of the Forgotten Angels charity, <laughs> riding out with a freaking hard case crew of scumbags, weirdos, and ne'er-do-wells. They're rolling out with a bunch of dirty Florida hobo swamp wizards right now, and I don't know if they know exactly exactly what they're in for. Anyway, this big pile of crap with a shiny golden nugget of Dave and Sydney on top is going out to visit another angel human being, another person who's just absolutely too nice to be friends with us, but is somehow, I'm very thankful for that, Jared Weems, who is giving away that Triumph Chopper, raffling it off with every single penny of that going to benefit the Forgotten Angels, helping out teens, helping out teens who've aged out of the foster care system. We're actually gonna go visit that property later Later too because uh, Shay Lisi has never been there and neither is Madam Hexa neither is Shelby and if you watch we're actually doing a live stream on Shay's channel later tonight 
We do a bi-weekly live stream on the Shea Lisi channel, and everybody here has helped out on it before. Shelby's been on there, Madam Hex has been on there. We've all very nicely, and sometimes not so nicely, Madam Hex has used whips, <laughs> have asked you guys to donate to the Forgotten Angels charity, and so far, uh, just on Shea Lisi's live stream, I think we're up to almost $6,000 that the viewers have donated to the Forgotten Angels charity. And the rest of the crew, they've never even seen the compound. So I really want to take them out there and be like, hey, by the way, all this money that you're raising, all this stuff, uh, the, it, it, the place exists, okay? <laughs> if we can make it, uh, Barf Party status, as always, would be listed under precarious. This thing is always an inch away from breaking down. But come on, we're doing good things today. We're seeing good people. <laughs> you can make it if there is a devil in hell. Give us your black magic power to propel this FXR forward to do good things. I probably shouldn't have. Dave and Sydney aren't going to like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bad people can do good things too, okay? Well, it remains to be seen if I'm actually gonna get us there. Uh, <laughs> David's been there before, but for some reason I'm leading the ride. Because <laughs> I love getting us lost. <laughs> I might not know where we're going. I did it. Against all odds, not only did I find it, but Barf Party was actually able to travel 40 miles without breaking down. Amazing. Oh, I heard they had a they had a performance V twin class here. Man, I think they'll let Barf Party in. Oh, there's other bikes parked here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Only wrong ways when you don't actually get there. Man, I like, I like the way that David thinks. <laughs> Can you explain that to everyone else? <laughs> all right, I gotta put that on camera. He's not just a Kawasaki Concourse pretender. David rode that thing all the way to Canada. And I know I actually have a lot of people in Canada who watch, like we got a lot of friends up there. David is an actual Canadian. So a lot of people are wondering why I started bleeping out my cuss words. And uh, I try to cuss less, but when I do cuss, sometimes I'll remove them. That's because uh, this is Jared Wheaton's son over here. And they watch the videos together. And he was just telling me like, uh, I know all the cuss words, you don't have to bleep them out. But it's not because it makes, because you don't know, but it just makes me feel better about doing it, all right? Funny enough, this is actually the very first time that Shay Lisi's gonna see that motorcycle in person. Even though you literally Help sell over six thousand dollars in raffle tickets, but this is her first time actually seeing it, so you feel a little bit better about pushing people to buy a raffle ticket now. Talk about supporting local. This is a guy you'll remember as he as he goes and hides back there. That's Eric Allard, FNA Custom, good friend of mine, and this is the guy. The entire reason that my blue chopper exists. I'm actually glad we're here right now uh, because I do need some spark. <laughs> I actually need to buy some spark wires. Buy some spark wires for the uh, magneto cover that he gave me forever ago that he special made for me specially made a magneto cover for my chopper and then i just didn't put it on the bike it's, it's, i have it <laughs> it's going on i promise dude all right guys you tell me who wants to see a magneto on the fxr it's already got electron we'll make it match this one and get one of eric's belt drive magnetos for old, for old crusty glide for the bark party i think it fit This thing has got dual Brembos on a Springer, <laughs> chain drive, and then you walk over to the other side, and it's got a freaking turbocharger on it. I don't know, man. I love ridiculous motorcycles, and that one fits the bill. The dual Brembo Springer turbocharged officially wins the most ridiculous motorcycle here, which means it wins in my book. I think I, I think I got to pin the number one medal on that one because it's the most ridiculous bike here. It's awesome. <laughs> I like this one because it has a B on it. Yeah. <laughs> this one has the best B. <laughs> Thank you.
Just went over here to say goodbye to Jared before we take off for Forgotten Angels. And uh, he's not here because his bike just won in its class, of course. Uh, this thing is absolutely flawless. Um, as, as I said, I'll have a link down below where you can buy a raffle ticket to win this motorcycle. And 100% of the proceeds go to charity. We turn this back on. Shay's about to go freaking put her stuff in the bike, right? She goes to open up the bag. She doesn't hurt her. She, uh, she just picked the wrong motorcycle. Yeah, it's I this was, red one. I was walking up to it and I was trying trying to open it and Shelby's like, wrong bike. And I was like, oh. No, it's not. <laughs> I can't believe him. This is what happens when you bring a tech with you, okay? All of a sudden, he's like, well, your lights are going out. Your brake's doing that. Your bike's doing that. Like, I get it. Our bikes suck, dude. <laughs> well, that's right. Shay with the Odin gloves. Got the tunes rolling. David from Forgotten Angels is in charge on the Kawasaki Concourse. Says he's going to take us on the scenic route back to the Forgotten Angels property. This is uh, his area. Yeah, so he knows the good roads. Ah, feels good. Just looked at a bunch of cool motorcycles with good people. And despite uh, despite the dubious nature of this group, we're doing good things. Come on, baby. We ain't going to go hang out with some orphans without drinking beer. That's a, uh, used to be an 18 pack. <laughs> it's a 12 pack. It's two 18 packs. They cut it in half and taped it back together. I think I can almost reach. Perfect. Hmm. It's a lot of fun for eight dollars. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, I scratched it. It's kind of cool, man. When it comes to motorcycles, let me tell you, David is the real deal. He actually shared a picture of me of him riding a Harley Davidson down the aisle to get married, and also a picture of him getting his very first motorcycle when he was ten years old on like a little trail 70 or something like that. It's just crazy how David and Cindy, who are you know both Christian as his weems and I and very obviously not, <laughs> but it's just uh, through the world of motorcycles, through two wheels is what brings people like us together. And despite our many, many, many differences, David is a black Canadian who's Christian and runs a charity and, and I'm a half reptilian hobo swamp wizard from Florida. So you couldn't imagine us ever cross paths except for motorcycles and it's brought us together to do some pretty cool things well he was already doing really good things it's uh, brought us along for the ride to do some good things too with this charity hey what can I say I'm having fun <laughs> I didn't think this is exactly where uh, my YouTube journey was taking me right now but I'm having a good time Dave Cindy and Jared Weems they don't care if we drink smoke and don't go to church they're having a good time with us too and that's the kind of people I like oh. I wasn't kidding when he was taking us down the scenic route. This is absolutely gorgeous, David. Thank you. Welcome home, Forgotten Angels Compound. Property, compound. Uh, I'm going to keep on calling it compound. I like that better. All right, so out here at the uh, Forgotten Angels property, and uh, Tim here is putting Shelby right to work because this is his first vehicle which is a 150cc two-stroke scooter. And yeah, Shelby might be a Harley mechanic, but he knows a little bit about everything. So I think we're gonna be able to get this thing going. And I think it's really cool, especially since David, I don't know, I'm double fisting it here, but uh, <laughs> they aren't 21 here yet, so we can't share, sorry guys. But we can share two-wheeled vehicles. I've talked about this a lot in my uh, videos. And so basically uh, when I was 18, uh, I know it's different all over the world, but here in America, you have to have insurance and car insurance is insanely freaking expensive. In the state of Florida, if if you want to travel to work, doing it on two wheels is your best bet because not only is gas cheap, not only are they cheap to buy, but you don't have to carry insurance on it. And you might not like that. You might go like, well, you should carry insurance on it. That's not right. But uh, uh, we live in a world where everything isn't right, <laughs> okay? But you got to do what you got to do to get by. So the fact that David is out here teaching these guys how to ride and getting them into, into two wheel vehicles, I think is absolutely freaking awesome. Now let's see if we can get this two wheeled vehicle running. Yeah, we might not get it running today, but we'll at least figure out what it needs to get running. I love it. These are Cindy's goats and they just came over when she called them for pets like they're dogs and their names are Bill and Ted. So David here is giving me the uh, grand tour of all the tiny homes back here. These guys built and he has the boys out here built, build these 
things. That's right. <laughs> they don't just, he doesn't just build them for them. They actually build these things. And um, these are, these aren't just, these aren't, I think you said it to me last time. These aren't halfway houses. These are, these are homes. Yeah, they're actual homes. Yeah. You know, these guys live here. Their cars are outside. Uh, they have dogs. Uh, they have pets. Uh, they work on the property. And this is, this is where they live. These are their houses. I'm not saying that in a bad way. This is a absolutely freaking amazing from somebody who came from a place uh, who never had a home to live on this, not only on this beautiful property, but have a, a space that they can call their own. Um, and it just, I, I'm about to cry. It just absolutely blows me away. It really does. I'm not even lying. We're rolling, we're rolling out of here. Uh, me and David have a similar problem. Diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> So, you get, like, you get us together, literally, I'm just like, dude, I can't stop talking. I mean, you get me and this guy together, we're like, holy moly, dude. All right, bud. We got a list. We didn't get the, we didn't get the scooter running, but we're going to. So wholesome. Awesome. Now let's go do some bad stuff. What amazing people. Makes me want to be a better man. We're going to have to do some real scumbag shit to make up for this. Speed! Hell yeah! <laughs> you want to talk about bad people doing good things? Let's get her done, baby. This old Evo shouldn't be going 100 miles an hour, that's for sure. Whoo! You guys can't hear it? But I got Waylon Jennings singing good old boys in my ears right now. Me and Shay Lisi riding side by side. Let me tell you, someday the mountain might get us, but the law never will. Hey, just call us chaotic good all right we don't obey no laws but we're trying to do the right thing that pretty much sums up shade tree army and all you weirdos don't tell us what to do we'll do the right thing just trust us so i love dave cindy and jared they accept us exactly for who we are we're heading back home do uh more wholesome things not too wholesome though because we're getting ready for a live stream we're live Oh, wait, is, I thought we were still doing the thumbnail. Okay. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> I'm really glad I don't drink. I could be like you. You are like me. <laughs> I'm like you, but I don't drink though. Yeah. What's your excuse? Look at her shirt. It says homosexual from hell. <laughs> Biker Babe Beth is also in the comments. Good people. She bought an iron head because she hates herself. I relate. I also hate myself. Josh there needs to be a time. dating app for it's bikers. So I agree with that. There's farmersonly.com. Why isn't there bikersonly.com? Daddy's home! <laughs> Freaking stand up, kiddo. I'm scared. Can I shock on a glass bottle? Higher. I can't. Straight. Demonetized! <laughs> <laughs> Someone screenshotted that. <laughs> Okay, it is most assuredly the next day. Luckily for me, I don't really get hangovers, so I'm not feeling that fuzzy, but boy, I had a good time hanging out with you guys on that live stream. That was a good one. Woke up about 8 a.m. this morning. I've been uh, stuffing envelopes with your sticker orders literally all day long. Uh, there's probably a better way to do it than I've been doing it, but uh, I'm pretty dumb. And when you're dumb, life is hard. I see Liren did the right thing last night. Had a had a bunch of beers with us here at the house and decided to leave her bike. Only fitting that I deliver all the all the stickers you guys ordered on the Krusty Glide, seeing as the Krusty Glide was one of the stickers. I'm still blown away that uh, I posted those stickers. I made one post on Instagram and y'all guys had me sold out in like 15 minutes of almost everything I had on there. It's still amazing to me. I, I just, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't understand that, that many people would want the stickers. I mean, I think the designs are good. Like I'm not just asking you to buy a sticker just because I said so. Like I'm trying to make sure you, you get a really cool design but it's <laughs> still surprising. This whole thing is surprising. I mean, last night felt good. It was the first live stream we did in my house in a place where I actually live and I haven't had a home in over a year or almost a year at this point. And you know, this all kind of ties together with the work we're doing with Forgotten Angels and, <laughs> and those homeless kids that they're building tiny homes for and all the money you guys have donated to Forgotten Angels and all the raffle tickets you bought from Weems Triumph. It, it just, it, ah! So many emotions and all, almost all of them are good. It's kind of stuff really gets me choked up because as I was saying to David, it's just like the, the fact that motorcycles brought all this together, just 
the joy of two wheels is what brought all these people together. Not just me and David and Madam Hexa and uh, Shaylisi and Flipnot, not just, not just us. It brought together all of you too. Everybody who's had a hand in this, everybody who watched the channel, everybody who spread the word about Forgotten Angels, everybody who's bought a raffle ticket or shared their story. Motorcycles, man, for the love of two wheels. That's what makes all this happen. And I'll tell you, makes me feel pretty damn good because I like bikes. Till next time, y'all, keep it weird. Good luck. <laughs> Always seems weird just to cross my fingers and hope they get there, especially after people paid me actual real dollars for them. All right, for real. <laughs> Till next time, y'all. Keep it weird. <laughs>